yet another Fenty set that I'm falling for because yes, it was on offer. So hello everybody, welcome back to this YouTube channel. My name is Julie and in today's clip, I'm reviewing again another Fenty kind of like set product because Boots is going crazy, they have a lot of offers and I was like, I'm not gonna miss on that. So I was really surprised, I'm just gonna start off by saying I was really surprised how well my Fenty review products went. Like I have 3000 views uh, on each of them, which seriously Fenty has been for a while, especially their Fenty sticks. And I have loads of review, uh, views, not reviews, loads of views on it. I'm very surprised, so I'm very happy. Sorry, my phone. Yeah, just a random notification. I'm very surprised how well they been received. So I was like, you know what? I've seen this on offer, this particular set which is a highlighter and a brush. And I was like, let's try it out. It was a only a tenner yet again on Boots, like crazy, crazy, amazing offer. And I was like, I'm just gonna test it out for you once again, cause I've seen you enjoy them. And yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna show you how they perform. And if the highlighter is actually too dark, it seems like a tinge dark, but we're, we're gonna find out how we're gonna apply it. And one thing I can say about the brush is that it's actually full-sized, but you're gonna see more into that. Right, so let's open this guy because I'm very excited. Like, this was so affordable. And here's the brush. I thought it might be a, a travel size. It's not, it's actually the full thing. And this is 24 pounds on its own. And I paid only 10 for it and a highlighter. So the highlighter, I think it's called Rose Cheeks, I think. I mean, let me just open this guy. So it comes very nicely packaged and this is how it looks like. And let me show you, there's another amazing thing about it. It comes with like a protection. Like I love Fenty for that because whenever I travel with a loose powder, which is generally speaking my setting powder, it's a mess, it's a mess. And when I've seen this revolutionary idea that is not hard at all, it's also for their mini version of the highlighter. I was like, God damn it, you are good, like literally. So I'm not quite sure how good this shade is going to be for myself in particular, because it kind of looks dark. Like it kind of looks dark. Um, I'm still gonna try it and see how it's going to work out. I'm opening it. Oh. I'm more excited about the brush, not gonna lie. Like I think this brush really catched my eyes when it first launched. And it also has like a protection and I'm not quite sure how to take it off. Hello? Oh, no, don't mess with the fibers, God damn it! Right, so this is the guy I really wanted. I've loved the way it looks on the internet since day one, all right, but I never, Justify 24 pounds for it, but 10 pounds and also for a highlighter. God damn it. Yes. So let's see if this highlighter is gonna sabotage me Yeah, it's too dark oh. I'm trying to take Wow, this smells I think like vanilla what I mean I put a lot on my finger So let's do a swatch as well Right, so this is how it looks like. Let me... I feel if I disperse it, it could have some potential. Let's try. No. I should have expected this. It's too dark. I think this would work out much better as a... blush sort of hybrid for myself. But god damn it, this brush is gorgeous. I see myself using this uh, highlighter as a blush because it has a very nice glow and I think it says rosy cheeks. Cheek hugging highlighting brush, okay, and fairy bomb shimmer powder. So it doesn't say necessarily where to put it. Yeah, so I guess you can do whatever you want with it. And I see myself using it as a blush. So I'm trying to take it down now and I'm gonna come 
on top with a highlighter that works for my skin so really right so what i'm gonna do now is actually apply the highlighter and i'm gonna come back with my final thoughts about the brush and the highlighter in itself right so we are back with a full face on once again with a bit of a conclusion to speak upon the brush and the highlighter which is for me not the highlighter definitely I mean, I made it work. As you can see, I applied the highlighter and I actually made it work. So it can work for lighter skin tones more as a blush rather than a highlighter. But because it's not, it doesn't have the, like the biggest sheen to it. Like it's not like boom in your face. It has a sheen that can be buildable as a highlighter. If you prefer glowy, hi not highlighters, glowy blushes i think this could be for you but seriously like i said i actually got this more for the brush it's a full size one and i think this is very hugging and really nice i actually see myself reaching out for it for a highlighter or just a bronzer or just a blush like anything i think this is very versatile and it has a very nice dent into it that i might can go with it for concealer as well i don't know i really love this brush so this set is really worth the money also let me just present to you the cap you can put the cap over there and i'm just gonna do that with you now oh perfect so it's not gonna move around and be crazy i love that concept so so much yeah the brush is really nice do i think it's worth 24 pounds i don't know it's up to you i personally prefer paying only 10 pounds for both of these but seriously i'm more excited about the uh, brush this is really nice as well so it's workable even with lighter skin tones so if you want to grab this set because it's only 10 pounds do it because even if you have a light skin tone you can still use it as a blush I was scared I would not be able to use it in any way shape or form but it seems very versatile so I really love that and the brush is amazing like I said I got this set more for the brush but 10 pounds is crazy I'm not quite sure if I would see myself paying the full price just because the highlighter doesn't do the highlighting part and I'm not that obsessed with uh, shimmering bl blushes. I don't mind them but I wouldn't see myself spending the whole coin on a brush and a blush that I don't necessarily want. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to buy it full priced but the fact that the brush is in full size is very much appreciated really. So yeah, without further ado, I hope by any means this video was useful and relevant to you and you find it helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you actually managed to find this uh, set still on Boots because it was a goddamn great idea, I mean idea from Boots and a great deal from them. Sometimes when they have deals, they go crazy about them, let me tell you. So stay on Boots because they have really good damn offers, like literally. If I'm saying one more time after, I'm gonna go crazy. So yeah, that's about it from me for today. I hope by any means you're gonna enjoy the next clip because I do a lot of reviews and makeup bits and you might subscribe, you might. Give me a chance, come on. I upload at least once a week, so I'm consistent. I can say that. Right, I'll see you hopefully into the next one. Bye.